Currently it's 75 degrees, so you might want to step outside and take a look at the sunset because it is a pretty nice one tonight. Now take a look at why we are going to be having all these showers. Off to our east is this warm front, and then off to our west we have this cold front which is going to very slowly but surely make its way into our area as the week goes on and we are right here in the middle. Main threats for this are those heavy downpours and that does bring the potential for some flash flooding threats. With the ground already being so saturated from all the rain we had this past week, if within an hour it's only going to take about an inch to an inch and a half of rain within these highlighted counties to produce some flash flooding. Off to our south you see what's left at least of Tropical Storm Barry and that is bringing both Louisiana and Mississippi plenty of rain and even some severe storms but zooming in a little bit closer to our area you can see that is not the case here. Monday that rain is going to arrive overnight like I said plenty of sunshine on Monday you're not going to want to cancel any plans on Monday but Tuesday is going to be a different story with the potential for some heavy rain in these oranges and yellows that you see moving into our area right around four or five o'clock that is when we are going to see those storms and heavier showers. We are looking for another dry day on Monday but our rain does return on Tuesday but after that we're looking at a pretty good week with plenty of sunshine and some cooler more comfortable temperatures. On Monday morning that front has moved well to our south leaving us dry for Monday but that cloud cover is going to stay. After all those storms passed through the area yesterday, things have really calmed down for today, leaving us with a pretty nice day and a nice night as well. We are currently at 61 degrees, with just a few clouds in the sky, and those clouds are going to continue to clear as the night goes on. Now, taking a look at temperatures across the area, in the lower 60s to maybe mid 60s in a few places, Afton is a little bit cooler at 58 degrees, Binghamton at 61, and Lyle at 62 degrees right now. And taking a look at dew points, we are changing drastically from yesterday. Those dew points were very sticky and a little bit uncomfortable yesterday, but they have toned down today in the mid 50s. So we are going to be staying pretty comfortable as the night goes on and a little bit cooler tonight as well. Now taking a look at satellite and radar, you can see off to our west there's a system and off to our north and east there is a storm system as well. But we're right in the middle and we are staying dry and clear for the rest of the night and even into the day tomorrow. Zooming in a little bit closer, you see that as the night goes on, we are expecting those partly cloudy to mainly clear skies and no rain for tonight. Now tonight, those skies are going to clear as the night goes on, leaving us a little bit of a cooler and more comfortable night. And we are going to stay dry throughout the day tomorrow and going to see some sun as well. So that's going to be something to look forward to. But as the week goes on, those rain chances are going to increase really with every day. And as those rain chances increase, the temperatures are also going to increase as well, leaving us with a very warm 4th of July and also a chance for storms on the 4th as well. Now taking a look at future track throughout the night and the Early tomorrow morning, we are sticking with those partly cloudy two clear skies, but we are staying dry tomorrow into the afternoon as well. So we are going to see plenty of sunshine and some warmer temperatures tomorrow as well. And we are staying dry and clear really throughout the night on Monday and even into Tuesday. But that is going to change on Tuesday afternoon right around 3, 4 o'clock when a few showers and maybe even a few storms or heavier downpours start to move into the area. Now taking a look at our temperatures tonight, we are staying fairly cool in the mid 50s, maybe even lower 50s in a few spots before jumping right back up to right around 70 degrees tomorrow at 10 a.m. And then tomorrow afternoon, another warm day with high temperatures right around 80 degrees. Monday night, we're dipping back down into the 50s, maybe 60 in a few spots. And then Tuesday, once again, another warm day with highs in the low 80s. Tonight, 53 degrees, those partly cloudy skies, and they are going to clear as the night goes on, range of temperatures 50 to 56 degrees. And now your seven day forecast, Monday 80 degrees and mostly sunny. And then as the week goes on, those rain chances increase all the way through Saturday, but Sunday we are expected to dry out.